we may come out into the October reality imagination. The sleety wind no longer slants to the Black Hill, where Maguire and his men are now collecting the scattered harness and baskets. The dog, sitting on a wisp of dry stalks, watches them through the darkness. Back in, back in. One talks to the horse as to a brother. Maguire himself is patting a potato pit against the weather. An old man fondling a new piled grave. Joe, I hope you didn't forget to hide the spade, for there's rogues in the townland. Hide it flat in a furrow. I think we ought to be finished by tomorrow. Their voices through the darkness sound like voices from a cave. A dull thudding far away. Futile, feeble, far away. First cousins to the ghosts of the townland. A light stands in the window. Marianne has the table set and the teapot waiting in the ashes. She goes to the door and listens, and she calls from the top of a haggard wall. What's keeping you? And the cows to be milked, and all the other work there's to do. All right, all right. We'll not stay here all night. A pause. Applause. Applause from the homing cars and the trees and the bawling cows at the gates. From the screeching water hens and the mill race heavy with the llama's flood curving over the weir. A train at the station blowing off steam. And the hysterical laughter of the defeated everywhere. Night. And the fusil cards are shuffled again. Maguire spreads his legs over impotent cinders that wake no manhood now. And he hardly looks to see which card is Trump. His sister tightens her legs and her lips and fizzles up like the wick of an oilless lamp. The curtain falls. Applause, applause. Maguire is not afraid of death. The church will light a candle for him to see his way through the vaults and hell understand the quality of the clay that dribbles over his coffin. He'll know the names of the roots that come down to tickle his feet, and he'll feel no different as when he walked through Donna Moyne. If he stretches out his hand, a wet clod. If he opens his nostrils, a dungy smell. If he opens his eyes once in a million years through a crack in the earth's crust, he may see a face nodding in, or a woman's legs. Shut them again, for that sight is sin. He'll hardly remember that life happened to him. Something was brighter a moment. Somebody sang in the distance. A procession passed down a mesmerized street. He remembers names like Easter and Christmas by the colors fields were. And he may be born again, a bird of angels' conceit, to sing the gospel of life, to a music as flightily tangent as a tune on an oboe. And the serious look of the fields will have changed to the leer of a hobo, swaggering celestially home to his three wishes granted. Will that be? Will that be? Or is the earth right that laughs ha ha and does not believe in an unearthly law? The earth that says, 
Patrick Maguire, the old peasant, can neither be damned nor glorified. The graveyard in which he will lie will just be a deep-drilled potato field where the seed has no chance to come through to the fun of the sun. The tongue in his mouth is the root of a you. Silence. Silence. The story is done. He stands in the doorway of his house, a ragged sculpture of the wind. October creaks the rotted mattress, the bedposts fall. No hope, no lust. The hungry fiend screams the clay apocalypse in every corner of this land.